Hello, welcome back to Fred in the Shed 1. Now, a while ago, maybe 18 months ago, I did a video review on a small little flashing breakdown light that you would stick to the side of your car if you happen to break down it on a dark lane. And a guy named Tim got in contact with me and said, Fred, we really like your video, but we sell an improved, updated version of the light that you reviewed. And uh, if, if I sent you a light, would you be happy enough to look at it and maybe do me a video and I said yeah absolutely that's what I do on Fred in the Shed we do do this throughout the year people are kind enough to send me things and we have a look at it and sure enough about a week later here it is it arrived so just going to get this straight out of the box now the the batteries that this light takes I'm quite pleased to say that it takes three double A batteries which straight away is an improvement over the last little LED flashing light that I reviewed because that had a kind of a unique 12 volt battery that you can buy in the shops but it's not as easily available as sort of treble A's you can get you can get those anywhere and uh, that's always a good sort of a good thing because the last thing you want is to get something like this out of your car when you sort of break down and find that you haven't got any batteries so straight out of the box yeah I mean it's impressive actually it's a, it's a nice size it sort of feels quite nicely made I do believe it's um, waterproof or certainly water sort of resistant enough that it would last if you were going to sort of put this out on your car in the rain because let's be honest about it when you break down it's bound to bound to be raining so as we sort of look around the unit going around the outside of the unit here we have six SMD LED lights and these can flash in eight different modes which I will demonstrate in a moment and then on top of the unit which is this is quite a good feature we have 12 SMD white light so you can use this as a torch as if you know if you, if you break down it'd be handy to have a look around your car and uh, yeah chances if you're carrying a torch well I, I do but a lot of people wouldn't so yeah we've got 12 very very bright lights now what we can do we're going to sort of go through some of the modes have a look at this in more detail and then I will be taking this out on the road if as it were in the dark in my car and then we'll have a look at it how it looks in the field we'll simulate a breakdown hopefully not a real one we'll simulate a breakdown at night and we'll have a look to see how it works before i get around to switching it on it's worth it's worth noting the mountings now this has two strong mac magnets in the base enough to sort of hold it onto the top and possibly the sort of side of your car also it has a has a, has a hook here that retracts with a little sort of clip so you may sort of be able to sort of hang it off screen you may be able to sort of hang it on something and then another feature which i think is quite good has another little clip that comes out the side here and this is for attaching it to an emergency breakdown triangle now here in the uk those little triangles are optional but if you go into sort of europe and abroad they're compulsory so you could then stick this clip this on to your breakdown triangle to make yourself that little bit more visual Switching the unit on, well simplicity itself, you've just got two buttons on the top here. This one is for the white sort of work light and then this is the emergency amber light. Let's look at the amber lights first. So you have to hold this down for three seconds. That's quite a good thing because if you've got this in the back of your car, in a tall, tall bag or knocking about your boot, you don't want it to be sort of jogged on by accident. So you have to hold it down for three seconds and that starts the light. Now this is incredibly bright, it's not going to come out so well on the camera with the studio lights, but uh, yeah. So straight away we're into the sort of strobe effect, this is probably the one you're going to use, this is probably the most sort of visual I think, it gives you a nice 300 and sort of 60 degree light. It does have eight different sort of functions, so we go through those just by simply pressing that. This is more kind of like the, you know, sort of tow truck kind of lights that you see on those light bars on the top of the truck. Again, very, very, uh, very quite effective. Same sort of thing, just a slightly sort of shorter strobe that might save a little bit on the batteries. Incidentally, battery life is good for, for three AA batteries, depending on what batteries you use, and I imagine what sort of functions you have on. But they're saying anything from six up to 30 hours, and that is sort of quite impressive. But there we go, another sort of uh, flashing light, a bit like a <laughs> looks a little bit like a sort of some sort of spaceship coming down there. And then all of, the, all of the lights on there flashing out. I think that's the SOS signal. Uh, I don't do Morse, but I imagine that's SOS if anyone does sort of Morse code. Probably more nautical than what you're going to use on the car. And then that's all of the lights completely on, giving sort of maximum illumination. Maybe not the uh, most sort of easy to spot. And then again, that's all the lights on. That's reduced down to half power to sort of save you some battery life, perhaps to get those 30 hours. 
And then this one just, just lights up just two lights. Again, maximum battery life, that I imagine is probably the 30 hour mode that if you have to leave your car on a remote kind of uh, sort of road somewhere and you just want it to be aware. Again, also I suppose you could put this down in the road um, just sort of buy your car so if you was on a bend or something hopefully no one would nick it but it just gives a bit of get a pre-warning and there we go and then we're back to the sort of strobe effect again so I'm just going to sort of turn that off and then the same thing now with the work light again you've got to hold this down for three seconds and on it comes and that is super bright again with the studio lights I can't look at that uh, that is incredibly bright. Thankfully, there are three different settings. If you click that down, that sort of reduces it down to something that's a bit more bearable. And then finally, that's the lower setting, and that still is plenty bright. That certainly would be okay if you wanted just to get, get this out of your boot to inspect your tyres or something on your car if you suspected that uh, you had a sort of breakdown. Then we're back to the full sort of brightness again. And then that switches it off, so yeah, pretty good, but not quite useful. As I said, the, uh, the construction feels fine. Feels like it would sort of take quite a knock. I'm not gonna sort of do a drop test. Now they reckon this is visible from about one and a half kilometers away. I'm not gonna test that. But like I say, are we gonna take this out in the dark and we're gonna put it on the car and see how it looks? So let's get on with that part. So for this test, I thought worst case scenario, I chose a completely dark lane and placed the light on top of the car and yeah you could you certainly could see the car it was quite, quite visual I then decided to try one or two different modes with the light on top of the car but then I thought that maybe it might be more visual if because it's magnetic you can stick it anywhere if, if I stuck it on the side of the car so that's what I tried next and I think this was more successful certainly when my car was placed on, on a bend this is not very visual I tried a few different modes and eventually settled on this sort of kind of rotating sort of wheel effect I think this works really well not only does it light up the side of the car but also you can see that it lights up the road by the side of the car and this makes it very very visual so hopefully someone comes careering around a bend they're not going to sort of crash into your car and I was quite impressed with this this certainly is very very dark here and it works really well so then finally, I thought I would check out the work light. This is on its full maximum power, and it's very, very bright. It's certainly bright enough that if you've got a t low tire warning light or something and you needed to come out and check your car, yeah, absolutely fine. I mean, you know, you could possibly change a wheel by using this light. Um, does anyone do that anymore? <laughs> anyway, if you also if you had to leave the car, maybe sort of walk up a lane, this you could use this as a torch. You certainly safely get your way home. It lights up the ground quite well. I think you'll agree that worked really well that was really visible certainly helpful if you break down on a sort of a dark country lane and you know these things like the other one I reviewed um, they're not something that you really need until you really need it and then if you haven't got one it's sort of too late so certainly something that just put in you know you could have one of these put it in the back of your car certainly this uses the AA batteries as well so you haven't got to worry about having sort of spare batteries and yeah if hopefully you'll never need it but uh, if that breakdown does happen on a quiet remote kind of lane or something this is when you'll need it so Tim uh, we're currently selling these on Amazon under the uh, title Power Lance Power Lance emergency breakdown I believe he's also on eBay I'm gonna check with him after I've made this video I will put links to buying one of these in the description if, if you're sort of interested and yeah that's about it does what it says on the box okay hope you've enjoyed the video if you have please give me the old thumbs up helps me helps the channel and if you're new to the channel well please consider a sub i would appreciate that but as for now as always i'd like to say big thanks for your view time always most welcome stay safe and i'll catch you all on the next one